All right, we're back with Will from Parity and Logan from the Web3 Foundation to talk about Polkadot's growing validator community. Take it away, guys. Awesome. Hey, everybody. Uh, here to talk about the launch of the Polkadot Thousand Validators program and how that kind of comes into play with securing chains and empowering the validator community. So a uh, brief introduction for both of us. Uh, I'm Will, I'm the master of validators of Parity. And essentially what that means is I kind of work both like internally and externally, externally with a bunch of uh, different validators in the space, like infrastructure partners, exchanges, wallets, so on and so forth. Uh, I'm Logan, I'm the technical educator or one of the technical educators from Web3 Foundation. Uh, but I also handle the th uh, thousand validators program from the Web3 side. Awesome, so here today to talk about validators who they are, some of the challenges they face, um, and basically how we can actually kind of uh, empower them and promote them and, and how they kind of fit into the, the networks of both Kusama and Polkadot. And so just to kind of touch on who are they and what do they do, uh, this illustration here I think is kind of a good visual picture of kind of like where they actually fit into both, both Kusama and Polkadot. Uh, they're kind of this like little white pill there that kind of, uh, they, they are the people that actually uh, Finalized locks, uh, they, they provide the economic security in the network, and they're the uh, entities that kind of power all the different kinds of parachains that are in the network. So these are uh, the parathreads, the bridges, uh, all the, 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 the different kinds of uh, parachains, all, all these awesome teams that are building in the space. Uh, it, these are the, the values of the people that actually provide the economic uh, security for, for actually backing them and finalizing blocks and um, actually making this network actually run more or less. Uh, but this is now without challenges, and so uh, validators kind of face a lot of different uh, challenges, kind of getting up and running with things. So operations being kind of like first and foremost, one of the biggest ones of kind of just uh, running their infrastructure, uh, running like secure nodes and not getting slashes because there are slashing in the network. Um, and then second, kind of just getting the economic backing to actually uh, be a part of the validator set, to be an active validator in the space. Um, that can be a bit tough, especially for um, Polkadot, because you need uh, like millions of, of dots to actually get into the validator set, uh, as well as kind of just building reputation. And so, uh, to be to be a good validator in the space, you need to kind of like build a brand and reputation and community around like your validator services. And this is mostly just because like most people probably don't have the validators; they don't have like the economic backing in themselves to actually kind of be in the validator set. And so, a lot of them kind of rely on uh, the community actually kind of um, backing them and, and trusting them and whatnot. And so, here's some stats for just kind of some of the current states of things, like some of these numbers are actually from uh, last week, but it's uh, more or less still still pretty accurate. And so for Kusama, uh, there's a little more than like 5 million KSM staked, which is a little over half of the network. Uh, there's over a thousand validators that are both active and waiting. And so uh, this is actually pretty cool. It's just uh, right now kind of the governance is the, the determining factor of like how many are actually kind of active at the moment. And there's over like 2,500 uh, nominators there. And Polkadot's actually a lot more exciting. There's a lot more people in the space, bo both uh, kind of like from the nominating perspective, um, there's also a lot more kind of dots stake there. And so, uh, yeah, there's been a lot of growth and uh, there's been a lot more validators kind of coming into the space. And so uh, actually kind of supporting them and like promoting them and kind of uh, being like having a good on like on-ramp for new validators to kind of get into the space is uh, something that we're interested in kind of pushing forward more, so. So uh, due to the challenges that Will talked about, about uh, getting a validator set up, uh, Web3 Foundation and Parity Technologies started the Kusama 1000 Validators Program. Uh, so the goal of the program uh, is to support, is to uh, use the funds from Web3 and Parity to support validators from the community. So since established validators already can get included into the active set fairly easily, uh, we focused mainly on smaller and independent validators for the program. So the, the program started in February of this year with an initial set of 32 validators. So for the past 10 months, the program has been running successfully and we now have a pool of over 100 validators. So many of these validators that are in the program uh, would otherwise find it very difficult to get enough stake to be included into the elect elected set uh, without the support of our nominations. Um, so from a technical viewpoint, the program kind of consists of a uh, backend that tracks each of the validators that are included and records metrics such as the node uptime. It also ensures that they meet the minimum requirements of the program at all times. So if they do, the validator is marked as valid in the backend and they are eligible to receive a nomination. 
Each nomination period lasts 24 hours. At the end of each period, the nomination targets are changed so that we make sure that uh, each validator has a chance to make it into the elected set. So if a validator performs well within this nomination period, the backend will increase its rank by one point. The validator's rank then signals that the validator has done a good job. This allows the validator to build its reputation in a transparent and reliable way. So we're, today we're happy to announce that Web3 Foundation has pledged additional funds to be used in the Kusama 1000 validators program. Um, the additional funds will allow us to set up more nominators and to scale up the number of validators that we can include. So we're also happy to announce that uh, participants who are currently running in the program, uh, who are right now restricted to just running one node, uh, can now run two separate validator nodes concurrently and receive nominations. So this will ensure that the Kusama uh, 1000 validators program continues to play an important role in keeping the Kusama network decentralized. So in even more exciting news, uh, we are also announcing the inception of the Polkadot 1000 validators program. So the Polkadot 1000 validators program, which launches this week, uh, takes what has worked in the Kusama program and deploys it to Polkadot. So validators who have performed well in the Kusama program uh, by attaining a rank of 25 or higher, this generally takes about one month, uh, are eligible to enter into the Polkadot program as long as they meet the other requirements. So we're excited by the prospect of supporting the, the further decentralization of the Polkadot network through the support of smaller and independent validators. Uh, if you're interested in operating a validator uh, and joining the 1000 validators program, um, all you need to do is set up a node that meets the requirements, uh, fill out an application, and then uh, we'll follow up with you. And yeah, that's about it. Yep. Thank you very much.